Hey guys, Kieran here from Covix. Uh, today we've got the Covix Alarm Trailer U-Lock. So this one fits your 50 mil balls, so your standard, as well as your Alco off-roads. Um, so we'll just give you a quick demo on how it works. So inside the package, uh, just open that up. So we've obviously got the locking unit itself, set of keys, instructions, have a read of them guys. They're in there for a reason. Um, so, and we need to put the battery in for this one. There's a battery there. So to do that, we need to obviously unlock it. And the alarm module, you can reach with your little Allen key. And it's through the side here. So we undo that. And our little alarm unit, if you undo it the whole way, will drop out. And that's your alarm unit in there. The same as the other ones, guys. We've got a little rubber casing there. We pull that out. We put the battery in. And when you put the battery in, you'll hear a beep. And here's one I've prepared earlier. This one will be installed. And we'll just show you how it works. So, really simple and easy. Turn the key. 12 o'clock. Lock that up. Drop the bars down. Find where. We find that the second locking the second little groove there is the best one once you find the groove it'll lock on so you heard one beat there that means that it'll arm so give it five seconds now it's armed so if we're going to try and move the boat you get a warning beep if we continue to move it we'll get a second one and then it's going to go off at 120 decibels and that's going to go for 10 seconds. To unarm it, we just turn it key to 12 o'clock again, and that's going to unarm it. So now that we hear the two beeps, that's now unarmed. So we can leave it locked on the vehicle, on the trailer. Trailer's still secured, but if we move it, it's not going to alarm. So you can be safe that you're not going to alarm your neighbours or wake up the people next door. So that's pretty much it, guys. This one can also uh, be used on the vehicle. So that's why it's got the grooves down the bottom here. Turn it the right way. So if you were to lock it to there, you could still have it locked to your vehicle. Now it's really important that you can't drive with this on. You can have it parked up while you're at the boat ramp or pulled up for a coffee, but you can absolutely cannot drive with it on. As soon as you go to turn, you'll end up bending those bars and you won't be able to get it unlocked. So that's a really important thing. That's why there's a warning label on the packaging. That's why that's there for. Um, but it is a great benefit as opposed to others that you can still lock it to the vehicle. Um, perfect, as I said, while you're at the boat ramp or pulled up for a coffee. So no one's going to just pick your trailer up and take it for a walk. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.